NXT in three minutes. NXT opens up with Joe Gacy, the woke warrior, the absolute piss take on the snowflake liberal mentality. He's taken on Tommaso Ciampa, and if he beats him, then he'll be added to the title match at Halloween Havoc. And of course, he doesn't win. Thank God. Through no hard effort of trying, courtesy of Harlan, some people might recognise him as Parker Boudreaux. He's now shaved his head. Welcome to the club, fam. Welcome to the club. Joe Gacy rubs Harlan's cheek and then he kind of looks at him very psychotically and runs off. Tommaso Ciampa then bumps into Grizzled Young Veterans backstage and then Bron Breaker comes along. Great use of Grizzled Young Veterans, although hard to see what's going to happen really with them because they just seem to keep jobbing. Toxic Attraction. My fucking lord. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. These three women are hotter than a one-way ticket to hell, and Mandy Rose basically makes it clear that she wants the women's title against Raquel Gonzalez. I'm actually quite looking forward to this contest. Ivy Nile makes her long-awaited debut against said jobber. No idea who she was, don't really care. Ivy Nile looks so impressive, though, and this was probably my highlight of the entire show, and something you should check out, because I think Ivy Nile has the potential to be a megastar. She looks incredible, and if she can talk even halfway as good as she can wrestle, we're in for something very special. The fact that she's a natural athlete, and she's been combined with a performance centre has already reaped massive dividends. Ivy Nile, Diamond Mine as well, starting to look very good. We also saw one half of the Creed Brothers take on that absolute fucking moron, that reject from Japan with the blazer. Don't get it. Don't understand it. He looks like a gimmick I expect to see on AEW Dark in a couple of years' time at the most. And of course, the Creed Brother wins. Thank God for that. Carla Riley and Von Wagner beat Pete Dunne and Ridge Holland. And it just... It, these guys could be stars, but they don't feel like stars. They just feel like they're very slowly dropping in terms of stock and just becoming awful, awful mid-carders. Hard to see what Rich Holland's going to do by himself on SmackDown if this is anything to go by. Duke Hudson now has a gimmick where he's a gambler. He beats Grayson Waller, who's this very stupid Australian boxer. He then name drops Tyson Fury and then goes backstage and shows... Cameron Grimes what online dating is. And that's apparently all we get of Cameron Grimes for the week. And... What the fuck, man? Oh, boy, Joe, I, I gotta tell you, that, that, that sounds awful. And in your main event, it's Hit Row's leader, Swerve, without his friends at ringside because they got jumped by Legado del Fantasma at the top of the show earlier in the day. However you want to put it. Irregardless, an incredible matchup, one-on-one. Santos Escobar and Swerve tore the house down. I honestly thought, well, Swerve's obviously not going to go to SmackDown with the North American Championship, so he's clearly going to lose this here. He did, but not to Legado del Fantasma's charismatic leader, of course, Santos Escobar. He beats him with a cheeky roll-up and a, an assist for from Carmelo Hayes and Trick, who then immediately turn, because if you have even the slightest bit of memory, you will remember that Carmelo Hayes has the contract. So, of course, he cashes it in. Carmelo Hayes wins the North American Championship, and Swerve can go on to bigger and better things as a part of Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. And frankly, that's probably a good thing, because NXT, much better than last week, but still just doesn't feel like it really means much. It does feel somewhat like a sinking ship, but only in parts. And that worries me. So for someone like Hit Row, I think this is a really good time to get out while the going's good. And I am really pleased for them landing on SmackDown, which of course is the best wrestling show. Pretty much of all of them at the moment. Unless, of course, you're watching something like MLW, which is really doing great things as well. I've been Aaron X. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you very soon for more NXT content from the WrestlePlug.